Here's one example of a popular Bible contradiction. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 5 to 13, it talks about the Roman centurion coming to Jesus to ask him to heal his servant. And in the Matthew version, the centurion himself is pictured as coming. However, if you look at Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 10, the elders of the Jews are sent to speak on the centurion's behalf. So everyone says, oh, it's an irreconcilable contradiction. It must not be real history. It must be they made it all up. No, that's not how historians operate. What this is simply showing is it's a conventional standard of popular speech. Back then, and even today, sometimes someone can be said as speaking when it actually is someone being, that they're speaking through, someone that's sent on their behalf. For example, Alexander, uh, Alexander the Great, meeting with the Chaldeans. It's portrayed as him speaking, even though he only spoke secondhand, and this is in Plutarch's writings. In 2 Kings 21.10 and 2 Chronicles 33.10, the Lord speaks to the Israelite king Manasseh, but he speaks through the prophets, but it's talked about as the Lord speaking. Now even today, the press, the spokesman, the press secretary for the president, speaks, and it's the president speaking. It's, they don't say his press secretary said, even though that one may have responded, that may have been the one who, who actually responded to a question or sent a message from the president. Sometimes they'll say the president spoke when someone spoke on his behalf, someone he sent. So this isn't a contradiction at all. It's simply an acceptable way of uh, an acceptable custom of presenting uh, a speech by someone. 